Alright gang, Bison here. It's been a while since my last video. We're in my uh, new office warehouse. Meerkat's back from the road. What's up? And uh, we're introducing a new member today who's going to be a part of the video, Korat. And today in the video, we're going to be looking at the new Leatherman 3 P4. Hit it. Magic. <laughs> So here's the packaging when we all received ours. We'll just take a look at it here, how it comes in the box. There's also pictures at the beginning of the video. Here's a look at the box. Back of the box tells you about some of the features. Durable and strong, magnetic architecture and easy to use. And I love this knife, uh, multi-tool that is, because I'm a fan of the Victorinox stuff that's all stainless and this whole Tool is completely all stainless. I should do this with like a little preview model so I can see what the heck I'm doing. So here's your packaging. Inside slides out. On the back of this, kind of tells you how to use your Leatherman, how to release the tools, how to open the pliers, and how to lock and unlock the blades. And you can find all this information on the Leatherman website. Now, right off the bat, I really like the sheath. Never uh, had a gray pouch before. Usually I use a standard black or leather. Cool, I like the snap deal. Especially being in theater, sometimes we need to be quiet. And when you open the pouches with the Velcro. It doesn't work too well. <laughs> yeah, they know where you are. So for theater people and or stealthy criminals, Velcro is not the way to go. Snap's the way to go. So don't commit any crimes with this guys and girls. And here's a look at the tool. We're gonna have the uh, guys demonstrate in a few minutes the ease of opening and the magnetic closure and everything inside. So let me just put this down for a sec. Go over some of the boring specs for a moment. Um, all you Leatherman fans out there already know all this, but for if you're new, if you're a new owner of a multi-tool and to the Leatherman family, it'll be interesting. So this is just kind of off the information that you can get from the uh, website. It's the uh, multi-tool redesign. It's the uh, free P-series. It has enhanced ergonomics. It feels like home in the palm of your hand. That's what it says, fantastic. Oh, yep. Magnetic locking reduces friction and provides, a hap provides haptic feedback. And down here, is where the magnetic features are. There, as you can see it now, and if you can hear it, closes very, very nicely. This P4 model comes with uh, 21 tools, and it's got uh, needle nose and regular pliers, premium replaceable wire and hand wire cutters, electrical crimper and wire stripper, and again, we're gonna open this up and we'll look at those. Spring action scissors and saw, regular and serrated knife, package opener and pry tool, can open and bottle opener. It's got a wood metal file, awl and ruler, and a Phillips medium small and extra small screwdrivers. So, here's a look at both sides of it. I'm gonna let Korat and Meerkat kind of take over. I'm gonna zoom back. I don't know if you guys are going to just do the hand thing and you're going to show yourselves what you want to do. Because <laughs> the bison is secret. <laughs> I know the bison. Yeah, they just, they just know the hands you can and show the hair. Alright. I think one of the best features about this Leatherman tool is that it's supposed to all be one hand operated. So I'm going to show you guys all this, one hand behind my back. Cool thing, I'm a big fan of butterfly knives. Kind of open it like one. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> PG, Korat. <laughs> Take two. So, you could edit that. <laughs> so, the cool thing about these is it's all one hand operated. So, one hand behind my back, kind of open it like a butterfly knife. Just like that. Snaps into place, you got your pliers available to you now. Not to mention, closes, one hand just fine. Another cool feature is all the tools, instead of being on the inside like usual, are all on the outside. So you got little thumb studs to press down there. Pick the tool you want, locks into place, and then using the little locking mechanisms right here. I'm just so going to zoom right in a little down. bit here. There we go, Corey. Everything you need right at your fingertips like that. 
Same thing with the blades, all of them. You got your saw, like we mentioned. You got a standard blade. You got the scissors. And on this side, you got a serrated blade. Everything opens with one hand, nice and easy. And here's just a little bit closer look. Let me just zoom back a little bit. There's our tools here, focus. Just with the flick of your fingers, they pull out. So we have a bottle opener, Phillips screwdriver, flathead screwdriver, and if you can see it here, this little, looks like a sharpened part, that is your parcel opener or package opener. And here we have our scissors. Nice spring action. On this side, nice straight blade knife. I really prefer the straight blades. I like, like that this one gives you the uh, option of the straight blade and a separate serrated blade. I do not like the combo blades, not a big fan, but that's just me. I'm not saying there's anything wrong with that. If you love it, that is cool. It's a very, very nice beefy saw. And what we have in the middle here is a file, small flat head. You got your less aggressive side and your more aggressive side. Feels very aggressive. Feels like a very nice file. You have your wire strippers here. Another screwdriver with inches and centimeters. And if you can see on this end, it shows you how you, the direction of stripping the wire. Have our awl, punching holes, sewing, etc. And our can opener. So if we just flip around, gentlemen, let's uh, give the bottle opener a test. Bring him over here to the table, please. I think this is a very important tool on every multi-tool. It's, it's no secret that not all bottle openers are made equal. That's right. So. Okay, here we go. Very nice, very nice Super action. Easy to use. <laughs> you got my box a little wet, gang. <laughs> All right, Korat Meerkat. Wow, don't even wait for me. We cheers. Tastes like a Heineken. We cheers. So, I don't know if uh, Meerkat has anything to say about it, talk about it, nothing. I mean, I, uh, you guys. The world hasn't seen you in a while. Well, that's He's seen. a little camera shy. <laughs> Very camera shy, but they, they, they hit it all. I, I love it. It's very easy to use. Very. I don't even know how to put it in the words. It's very easy to use. Well, it's, it's like simple. You said earlier, it's the best Leatherman you've owned. It really oh, by is far. by I, far. As soon I, as I put the, it in my hand, the price point it's at, it's it's hard to beat. It's around. Uh, it was like I believe one, it was 130, 140. Something like that. Uh, MSRP. Yeah. Um, and yeah. I'm sure if you shop around, you can find slightly better deals for that. Uh, very well priced, great tools. Important for us, we're on ladders a lot for it to be one hand operatable. Uh, and it, it's easy to operate with one hand too. It's uh, really just this perfect combination of all these tools put into one. Uh, they, they accomplished what they needed to. It's almost like a multi tool redesigned for better purposes. Korat is a natural YouTube item describer. <laughs> all right, one last thing. I mean, this is just a, a fun video, gang. We're not by at all uh, knife experts. We're just like professional oh. consumers, and we like you to use the products in the fields. Yeah, that's a stretch. But anyway, <laughs> the pouch again, I saw that you can buy like on Amazon. You can get this pouch in solid black. It comes with some other tools, and also, uh, it does come in this version in black and with the little elastic sides to put pens and flashlights in and what have you. But I like the uh, neat, slender look. Anyway, gang, that's it. Actually, one more note. One more note. Um, the way it locks open, this is something that I noticed when... Oh, I'll stand in front of the camera. The way it locks open is actually these little notches here will grab and hold it open. So one concern I do have with the knife, and I'll need to test it for myself, is that over time these may wear out, these little teeth grip there that go into the notch. But I did notice that when you first get it, it's a little stiff to open and close. So I kind of just took it and went a little bit to wear it down, and it, it made it a little bit easier to handle and just kind of uh, open and lock open with one hand. 
Um, whether or not that's going to be an issue going forward, if it grinds down even more, I'll need to see going forward. We've only had these for a couple days, but I think that would be the one thing to look out for if you're going to purchase that, is that's a very different way of opening and closing. I've never seen it before to lock open like that. Um, and if it begins to wear down, you may have a less reliable pliers in terms of it staying open. That's my one notice that I've made. Very cool. And uh, obviously another feature I love is replaceable cutters. If they wear out or chip, you can uh, replace them, which I like. And also here, like uh, Corat mentioned, we're on ladders a lot, so they give you a thing here where you can, this little eyelet, focus. You can put something there to maybe attach a lanyard to. We're gonna have to fabricate something here so we can clip like a, clip a baby beaner or something on it for safety. Really, really like that. The uh, other version of this, the P2, does not come with that. It does come with a pocket clip. But I prefer pouch stuff. I don't like a lot of things in my pockets other than a wallet and my uh, Victorinox for summer knife. All right, gang, so that's it. Signing off, the Leatherman Free P4. Bison, Meerkat, and Korat out. Out. Peace.